Good morning. My name is Douglas Kidd and welcome to what will be the first of my weekly vlogs for Crimes of the Powerful. This week, the focus was predominantly on white collar crime and the crimes of the powerful. So what do we mean by the crimes of the powerful? What is white collar crime? White collar crime does not actually fit into any one crime category. White collar crime consists of numerous offenses from the traditional crime categories, such as fraud, property offenses, and crimes against the person. Now, what types of white collar crime are there? I'm going to touch on just a few examples of white collar crime. The first is fraud. Fraud is the intentional misrepresentation or omission of facts in an instance where a person has suffered a form of monetary loss. Next is computer fraud. This can include credit card fraud, bank fraud, and misappropriation of personal information. Bankruptcy fraud, which consists of concealing assets or misleading creditors. So this could be if you've taken out a loan and you haven't been 100% honest and there are some things that you have omitted from your application, for example. Then there is insurance fraud. This is where an individual deliberately and knowingly defrauds an insurance company by making a fraudulent claim. Lastly, but most importantly, there's public corruption which is an unlawful act, unlawful or corrupt act by a public official that breaches public trust. So straight up, we will probably think police corruption, right? But this is not only limited to police corruption. This is government officials, politicians. This can even be healthcare workers. It could be an act, an unlawful act that's been committed by a doctor within the healthcare system that is in a, essentially breach the public's trust. So this week I've provided a great example of public corruption and it uh, comes from the, recently from the Ipswich City Council here in Queensland. So back in October of 2016, the crime and, Queensland Crime and Corruption Commission convinc commenced an investigation into the corrupt activities of Ipswich City Council. The result of this investigation was 91 charges related to public corruption being brought against members of the Ipswich City Council, of which so far four members have been sentenced to terms of imprisonment. So this was a pretty, this was a pretty big deal. Uh, what the investigation really uncovered was a system of entrenched corruption and corrupt activities amongst the councillors. This, uh, this was from awarding contracts with bias all the way through to things like councillors taking, taking bribes. So, that brings me to the conclusion of my first weekly vlog. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again next week.